ProPresenter can send live streams out to any RTMP destination. So in this video, let's look at how to send our live stream out to YouTube, including all of the stream settings you'll need. First, we need to go to the YouTube studio that you can find at studio.youtube.com. Now, once you're logged in, you'll see which channel you're currently logged into here on the left. And in the top right hand corner, we can click to switch accounts. So if you're in the wrong account, you can click here to switch accounts to log into the correct one. Once you're logged into the correct account, you can go to create and then go live. If it's your first time streaming on YouTube, you'll get brought to a wizard that will walk you through all of the settings. So you can stream right now or we can stream later. For this example, I'm going to choose to stream right now. So I'm going to hit start. And then we have an option to choose if we want to stream using a built-in camera or streaming software. We're streaming from ProPresenter, so we want to use streaming software. So we'll say go. Next, you may see this screen, which is asking you if your video is made for kids in accordance with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Generally speaking, you're going to want to say, no, this is not made for kids, even if your video is family friendly. Only select, yes, it's made for kids if it's intended for children. Now, if you didn't see that wizard or any of those pop-ups, it'll bring you most likely to a page that looks like this one. If not, you can go over here on the left-hand side and you can choose to stream, which will bring you to this page, or click on webcam, which would bring you to another page, or manage, which will allow you to schedule streams in the future. Now on this main stream page, we have our stream settings and down here we have our first thing that we need to find, which is our stream key. So we're gonna copy that stream key and then inside ProPresenter, we're gonna go over to our preview area and above there you'll see our live button. There we can click and then we'll go to capture settings and here's all of our stream settings. So the first thing is which source do we wanna stream? I created a screen called live stream that I'm using for my live stream. And then the destination here, we can record to disk or stream to RTMP or stream to Resi. We're streaming to RTMP, so we'll leave that selected. And then we can paste in our key. So I'm going to paste that in using command V or control V on a PC. And the next thing that we need is our address. So let's go back to our YouTube studio and look for our address. This is called server URL. So we're going to copy that server URL. Then we'll hop back over to ProPresenter and then we can paste that in. Next, we need to choose what quality we want to stream at, which is really based on your internet upload speeds. You can run an internet speed test at a site like speedtest.net, which will show you how much upload bandwidth you have available. We recommend only streaming at around half of what your internet upload speed test shows. So once you've done that speed test, you can go to your encoding settings and then change your quality here based on how much bandwidth you have available. You also have an option to save a local copy. This is great for archiving or if you want to edit your video before you re-upload it and you can change your audio routing settings. And now we can start our capture. And as soon as I hit start capture, it's going to send our stream live to YouTube. So I'll hit start capture and now we're streaming live to YouTube. I'm going to start up my announcement loop just so we can see some content and then we're going to go back to our YouTube studio and you'll see our live stream is going to start up here and we'll start seeing content and then we could go over here by end stream and you'll see a share button that we can click on to share this stream so if you want to pull up that video URL to share with some people or maybe embed in a page you can find all of that information there. Now to stream again in the future to YouTube, all you need to do is hit start capture inside of ProPresenter. But I do want to point out in the YouTube studio to go to edit. And when you click on edit, this is going to show you the title and description and all of the other settings that are going to be used each time you start your stream. So this is where you can update that information prior to live streaming. And if you want to schedule your stream to start at a very specific time, you can go over on the left hand side here and click on manage. And and here's where you can schedule a stream. So you can see we have some previous information. We're going to create a new stream with new information. I'm just going to call this my test stream. And then you'll see we can update all of our other information, add a custom thumbnail in here. We can go to customization and check all those settings. And then finally, under visibility, here's where you can schedule that 
uh, stream for a future date. So I'm just gonna choose a random future date here and say done. Now this is set to use our same stream key that we used before, but you may wanna double check those settings because back inside ProPresenter, all you need to do is start your stream prior to the time that your live event's gonna happen, and then YouTube will publish that stream right at the time that you selected. Now, if you want to learn more about live streaming inside ProPresenter and setting up your screens and other information, you can find more live streaming tutorials at ProPresenter.com.